Ugh. We have twins on real to come, so we'll get that out of the way. Why don't we? Tough game uh, with Billy. Looking to bring it back with twins. Here we go. Game on. Another Macmillan variant. Should be too awful with twins. Uh, put Charlotte nearest to a gen. Right here. Get Victor out. Okay. So, you've got the speed add-on for Vic. He's going to be nifty here. Let's see what he can do. Here, in, listening for a gen. No movement there. Nor... There is movement here. There they are. Right, it's been really good so far with these pounces. Can he be so again? Not quite. And... Oh, they're not quite going to get the kick. Steve wanted it. Steve won't get it. Oh, God. It's another bad miss from Victor. More of the... More of the Victor we've been seeing early on. Oh. That was unfortunate. Charlotte was in a good position to pressure on this gen while unsectable, but the uh, Jane are very, very wise to what was going on. Have a victory opportunity? Why not? So there's a survivor behind. That's Michaela. Swim burst, presumably. Needs to start hitting these pounces as Victor, otherwise it could all be going wrong. They're not quite going to get the pounce. Uh, sorry, the crush. Not quite going to get the crush. Moving back, moving back, moving back, keeping in sight. Okay. And Charlotte's not too far away, so this could be a really nice, quick one, too. The gem pops. Uh. One Victor hit. Not for me, sunshine. I'm out of there. Come on now. Okay, so, well, obviously brilliant. Brilliant for the twins. Not quite going to get the hit through the window. Tinkerer on this gen. It's a look into the night as quickly as possible. Then keeps on the gen, moving around. Trying to anticipate it, how far they would be going. Not quite able to. Just gonna get back on this gen. Right. If it's gonna get Charlotte back out there, can Charlotte, with the unstacked ability, maybe get a grab off this gen? Could be a, could be massive if she can. Not quite. No one here. That's fine. You'll get a couple of brine. You'll get a pressure out there. They're moving on this jet. Pressure eliciting a blown skill check. Charlotte moving in. As there goes Jill. Try to take an efficient line here. Sprint burst. Not entirely sure. Is someone by that gen? Oh, they just crash in time. Okay. And then get Caller Brian out there again as Charlotte wants to get Victor back out there as quickly as possible. We'll be able to. Jane's back here. Oh, good little fake out from Jane. Should be a crush thereafter. Oh, they're going to go for it. They won't be able to get it. Good move from Victor. Needs to sort of flick. Flick to the right there. That'll do with them. Steve's on this gen, so they see Charlotte moving in. They do not. Oh, they do just. Just in time. Can you get Victor out again? And how quickly can you get Victor out again? We're walking around there. Not a bad move at all. Should be a dying state here. Will be. Someone behind. Is they move in for a pallet stun? We're, we're blocking from this side. Yeah, so no joy there. Okay. Quick turnaround for the one, two. If you can keep the gen behind you on side. Be very happy with that. Can she do it? She can, she can, she can, she can. Get some pressure out there. Pull a Brian again out there. Uh, Charlotte here could be nicely subversive and scary, especially with the unstacked ability. And Victor going to go on a patrol. Quick look at this gen. Still aggressing. Brilliant stuff. There goes Jill. Victor could get another injury out here. Just got sufficiently around the rock to deny. Where did Jill go there after? She's still around this rock. Nice. Good stuff from Victor. Needed to be a little bit calmer. Oh, and there's Jane. Woke up at exactly the wrong time. The right time, sorry, to deny Jane. Uh, Jill will be somewhere getting, trying to get rid of Victor. Does so. Who moves in for the save? And at what point? There's Jill over there. Jane in front. The entire game right now in front of Charlotte. She still goes around that side. Charlotte going to move in. Look for Jane. Still regressing this gen. Okay. 
That's two will move back in. For the save. No! So it's a kill on hook. There's an argument that maybe uh, this is a game state you shouldn't be sweating as much as you are. Good fake out from twins and get another dying state. Oh, and that, that has been used, of course. Getting the boot into the gen. That one over there. Get that one side. And we're now suddenly in a two survival protocol situation. A situation in which you might be thinking, maybe all in on hatch. That certainly seems to be the case. Oh, but there's Jill. Can't take the bomb. Injury there. Remember, hatch is going to be in Killer Shack. Could be around this side. They'll want it. We'll want it. Shall I gonna stay here? Needs to close. There it is. There it is. I'm back on Jill. Uh, another tough game for the survivors. Another early DC. Has helped the twins out extraordinarily. And the Omriel here. Barring a last minute catastrophe. Will have it all to do. They burn. Going over. Good play. Ooh, having a sip before the hook's obtained, which is a little bit blase for the World Cup. Won't be punished. Okay. Tough one. Tough one for them, but you come back to that old adage. You can only play the team that's in front of you. The immediate DC after the victor pounce was weird. Slab, you know you've got to get four Ks. Yeah. yeah. Never quickly fell so out of love with the concept of a song parody that I was doing. <laughs> Just lost all faith in that almost immediately. Get out of here. It's going to be Omrio and it's going to be a Yamaoka. Looking for early gen intel. See any, but you hear some to the left. Yeah. Manifest here, looking for a Guru injury. Oh, so desperately close. No joy there, go undetectable again. Only one person on that gen, at least as far as the Omriel could here. Uh, makes a lot of sense. Most people will be focusing on getting rid of their tapes with a tape headed in deck. And there's your injury, okay, and a pallet burn. Very good stuff. But caught on the telly there. If she can play these walls correctly, could be a real opportunity for... All live there! All good, all good, all good. Yeah, real opportunity for a quick dying state. That will lead to floods of rage on the hook. Nice aura reading to come. Um, She vacated the gem where Quentin was. We'll teleport right back there to have a look. And now a little bit of teleporting around the map could be exactly what is needed. Up here and then over to the other side of the map. Keep an eye on the character portraits because they hold the key to um, whether someone is near because they will be slightly condemned. And there is gem movement up here. It's Quentin. Do they notice? Do they understand that Omri is nearby? They do. They do. They get away in time. That would be Bant's landing or maybe Swim Burst for them. There goes your reading. Gem pops over there. Unfortunate. Never quite teleported in that direction. Uh, it's not Quentin. It's Steve. My apologies. My apologies. Mistake from the commentator. Steve running just forward. Might not have too much to loop here. Ah! Good counterplay from the Omriel. Getting in amongst the roughage. The wubbage. Getting a dying state. Another opportunity for Floods of Rage over here. More aura reading to come. There's Quentin. They're going to fake out um, a hit for Sprint Burst. Never mind. I don't know what they were doing there. Regardless, Omriel gets a second hook. One gem popped. Two hooks in play, a survivor heading over this way. Teleport up ahead could be very, very good. It's Mr. Wabbage. In fact, that, te that teleport could be amazing. They're already fairly condemned. Holding a tape, they'll be accruing that condemnation. Mr. Wabbage keeps on running forward. 
Cobra's right. Gets the Halle Bear. You wonder if there is an opportunity for a condemnation kill in your near future. They're going to go for this. They won't be able to get it. They won't be able to get it. Condemnation continues to build. Dead hard for them. They're going back for the telly. Do they get it this time? They do. What a play from Mr. Wabbage. Use dead hard perfectly. And gets a window to boot. Wow. Mr. Wabbage, Mr. Wabbage. Come of the hour, come of the Wabbage! Gets the pallet and Omrior has to leave. Wabbage too strong. Omrior, appropriately chastised, gets out of there. Now, no one on upstairs. Heading downstairs and was healing on this gents. That's where Omrior will move next. There is movement over there. Do they spy Omrior moving in? The stench of failure on her from the Wabbage interaction. Put Wabbage to the back of your mind, says the Omrior team to the Omrior. You've got non wabbage opportunities here and now. Omrior trying to keep on the deck. Gets the window. Pills back around. Good entry from the Omrior. Good entry from her. Well dead. Has Tile up ahead. Is there anyone back in this gen? There is Steve. Gets caught on the stairs. Another great entry for the Omrior. Claudette is still around this tile. Could be a real opportunity here. Of a dying state. They pivot right. Nurse is healing. Gives the aura. Can the Omriel get a dying state recover from the ignominy of the Wabbage interaction? They don't burn Pallet. They don't burn Pallet. It's astonishing they don't burn Pallet. They still get distance here. Strong team of loopers. Lots to contend with for the Omriel. Oh, doesn't quite get the injury. Defeat Hex Wabbage. Defeat after defeat after defeat. And Omriel teleports to a television. The Omriel camp in her ear. Forget Wabbage. Forget Wabbage. I can't forget Wabbage, says Omriel. You forget Wabbage. I have stared into the face of death and it bears the malicious grin of Mr. Wabbage. As she goes over, gets the gen. And the Omriel team say, okay, take on your fear. Go back to Wabbage. And she says, really? Back to Wabbage? And they say, yes. Yes, we believe you can take on Wabbage. Gen kicked. Heading back. There is a stench in the air, and it's a stench of wabbage. No gem movement here. Okay. A moment for calm. It's wabbage! Okay. Teleport upstairs. Going back down. Wabbage, wabbage, wabbage. Where does wabbage go? If I were Mr. Wabbage, where would I be running? And the answer is to kill a shack. Could this be a dying state? Could some old demons be laid to rest as wabbage goes window? Or me coming back? Going for the vault? Oh, and there's wabbage! Might be forcing the pallet burn here. They do have life. Do they get back to the window with life? They fake out window. It's another Wabbage Rouse class. Wabbage comes back around. Wabbage was like, Wabbage down. Wabbage down. Getting the pickup. Will the team be there for Wabbage? Will it be the Wabbage help with the pallet assist? No. And the Scourge hook. Okay. Getting the hook. Heading back to some of these gens. Good teleport. They're committing. They're not quite committing. Omriel gets the kick. Quentin fleeing the scene. Omriel going to try and be on his tail. Where did Quentin go? Back around here. Great, great Floods of Rage intel. Floods of Rage so clutch there. Unbelievably so. Omriel keeping on Quentin. The Wabbage Demon exercise. Maybe now she can be a little bit more effective in the end game here. Make no mistake, the end game is upon us. They burn pallet. On we're moving back around, getting the kick. Here's Quentin on the left-hand side. An opportunity to finally close down this chase. Back and forth goes to Quentin, doing exceptional work. Another gem pop. Still three left. Not actually as bad of a game state for the Omriel. As you maybe imagine, it's an awful whiff. Quentin here doing some work, if not Wabidgian, then at least Wabidge ad adjacent. Get in the dying state though. Do they? Come in for this pallet stun. Will it be Wabbage from the top rope? God, you hope not. Oh. They went for something, but it wasn't effective. A basement hook here could be absolutely massive. Trying to get back over. Um, teleport up here. You know there's at least two folks up here. Eyes on Wabbage. Hashtag eyes on Wabbage. Gem movement. Is it Wabbage? It's not Wabbage. Could this be the Wabbage at last? 
They're looping with Feng Min. <sighs> <sighs> okay, no gem movement here. On your leaving the scene, getting back on these gems. There's the there's the basement unhook. On your gonna be there, manifesting. When do they emerge? They only just emerged. That's Quentin. That's Forte. We've got the unhook. Getting the hits the Omriel. Back on them. Need another dying stay here. Jen's moving a little bit too a little bit too quickly, a little bit too scarily. Talking of one up there. Omriel gonna teleport. It's Wabbage! Get the injury. Wabbage to the pallet. Wabbage burns! Free drop! It could be Wabbage out. If the Omriel can take on this chase efficiently, they go pallet. Omriel are gonna fake out that way, get the kick. It's not a three gen. It's not a three gen at all. Uh, they've set up their gens very nicely here. Oh, tough situation. Omriel are gonna head over to some of these gens. Bit of movement here, nothing to be concerned about. There is the heal. Demanifest. Move in, manifest in. Denying the heal. It's Wabbage. They're going to body bot for Wabbage. They're going to try. They don't quite do it. Wabbage doesn't get away. Will it be a Wabbage kill? They go flashlight. Oh, you can't quite let up, pigs. You know they're going to be there for the save on Wabbage. Good injury. That might force them away. Looking back down here. Coming back. Getting the pickup. Shouldn't be a save. And Wabbage, out of there. What a gamer. You've lost a survivor. Two gens remaining. There is still hope for the Omrior here. Teleporting upstairs, looking for any condemnation. Get a little bit on Claudette. Claudette's here. Running down this way. Claudette will be very, very condemned. Might get even more condemned if the teleport over here can connect through. It does. How close condemnation is Claudette? To go window. They don't. Good play for Claudette. Good fake out. Oh, but stuck into the wall. It will be a dying state. Maybe one more teleport and it would have been a condemnation, Mori. Omri are not going to split hairs here. Not going to, uh, uh, you know. Sacrifice good and name a perfect. As there is another hook over to this gen. Which has been a pressure point and remains a pressure point. Getting the boot there. Upon the unhook, Floods of Rage will be massive. Until that time. Keep some pressure on the chest. Quentin! Condemned. Might have to move in for the save, though, because uh, uh, Steve. Steve there, just getting the gen. Oh, Quentin just able to get the tape. Could be an injury on Steve. Running over to the right. And we are going to follow as best you can. Good move from the Omriel. Right back in this chase. No pallets here. Pallet burnt up here. It'll be another dying state. All eyes on Quentin for this unhook. Should be able to get it. Does so. Lots of rage not going to be too impactful there. But it will be a trade. One unhook. Replaced with another. There's the hook. Teleporting back to roughly where the previous unhook was. No intel, no joy. You imagine there was movement on this gen? There is. Definitely worthy of a kick in a, pre in a game state as precious as this. And there's someone here. Who is it is the question. Who is it? Someone running all the way over here. Flutter of Rage gives us this aura. Teleport ahead. Good intel there. This could put the cat among the pigeons. And it's... Uh, oh, they're just going to have this pallet. Getting the pallet break. Big, big pressure. Here for the Omriel. So I'm moving up. To the right. There's the heal. Manifesting to then get this heal. Not quite. Not quite. Trying to get ahead of Steven. Does so. 
Gonna take that injury as well. Get them both hemmed in in the corner. Now only Quentin the survivor who can move this game along. Uh, Steve's condemned. Could be a really good pivot situation. Got Call of Brian on that gen, it just passes. Would have loved to have had more aura reading as to good skill checks there. Won't quite get it. Steve fleeing the scene. Down the stairs, hasn't vaulted. Which way has he gone? Which way has he gone? Back over here. Might be trying to get to this telly. He can teleport, might be able to deny. The VCRs are sadly on the Unreal Star. What a great time on the teleport. No, it was Claudette. Never mind. The grab, the hook. Want to get over to this uh, generator. Oh, and so happy you have. That is a crucial, crucial intervention on that gen. And there's Quentin. Would have been looking to get back on the gen as quickly as possible. Taking a wide line going window. Good play from Quentin. It's not aggressing anymore. They're back on it. Wow. They're both here. Steve's here. Condemnable. Steve come into the gen. What a play from him. What a move. Ah! That'll be it. So Condemnation Mori, the inexorable stare to get a kill. Wow, really giving it all for those gens. Has to be applauded. There's the Mori. Do they move in for the unhook? Can't see them. Need to get back to Killer Shack. Want to, of course, deny Hatch to Quentin, who will surely remember... The hatch is here. Oh, God, what a tough game from the Omrior. But may well be looking at a 4K here. Just a hatch. That's, that's, um, that is uh, adrenaline. Of course, makes a lot of sense. It's not over. Omrior can teleport, but might have a very tough situation ahead of her. Teleport back over here. Remember to look at the character portrait. Condemnation being accrued. Could be a really, really good indicator of where this Quentin is. It might be all over. Look at the distance. She has to go here. There's a, is there a scratch mark up there? Is this the gate? Is it the end? Oh, it's not the gate, but in, in the time that's taken, they're presumably back on this one. No, they're not. God, how you need these televisions back. How you so desperately need these televisions back. At least one of them. They know the stuff here. They'll know. I need to go such a great distance to try and deny. They'll, of course, know. But the Omri here has used televisions. There is one there. So I look back at this gate. Anytime she leaves, it could be all over when she comes back next. No movement there. Teleporting here. This could be when you deny. This could be when you deny. There's two lights. Your third. It won't arrive in time. Whoa, the game from the Omri. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, but might not have a hook. This one should be makeable. Oh, baller, welcome in. GG is really, really well played. That was unbelievable. She gets it. Wow. Wow. Okay, back to the spreadsheet. And Omrior does enough in the very death to get a point. So she uh, keeps up her run of just constant 4Ks on four points. She is now twins. Uh, similar, uh, well, the same number of hooks, but only two points to their names. They could only muster two draws. State playing group B as we leave round three is Omrior on top. With four points, and Myers there with four points as well. Slinger and Billy both have played one more game. Three points to two points apiece. Billy on bottom. Twins in fourth position. Again, a game in hand over Slinger and the Billy. 4K in spite of Wabbage Tech. I will not forget Wabbage. Mr. Wabbage in a hurry. GG well played.